so when you see Frank and Mary on the road, you're really seeing Frank and Mary on the road. So here we are. Uh, Shelby always thinks up these ideas. We are now uh, at the site of Del Webb, which many of you folks already know about, uh, to visit. And Shelby's going to talk to you a little bit more about what's going on here right now. Shelby. Great. Thank you, Arthur. Well, I'm happy to be here on the site of Del Webb Chauncey Lake. And we are here to uh, have an appointment. We have an appointment with Melanie, and she's going to talk to us about this great community that is growing behind us, literally. You'll hear that perhaps as we start to walk in. And we're going to talk to Melanie about um, some housing options for my parents, Frank and Mary. And Arthur also happens to be... Who knew that it was actually her parents that I was always <laughs> talking about, right? My clients, Frank and Mary, but we were always trying to keep this part quiet. So, right, yeah. right, right. So we're going to talk about how Frank and Mary, who are moving mm -hmm. because they want to sell her, they're selling their house in Westboro, which they loved, but right. it's time for them to move. And so we're going to try to figure out whether Frank and Mary could find a place, a happy place here. Let's go in. Let's go in. Hi, welcome to Del Webb Chauncey Lake. How are you? Oh, great, you must be Melanie. I am, so nice, <laughs> nice to see to meet you. you. Melanie, my name's Art. I'm Art, Art Bergeron. welcome. How are you? Melanie Ch Chatterton, I That's remember. That's correct. Yes, I yes. remember Shelby, Shelby, Shelby telling me That's that. correct. So, yeah. That's Excellent. Correct. So we're here, as I told you, uh, to uh, talk about my parents, Frank Perfect. and Mary. This has yes. been kind of a town secret. No one really <laughs> knew that Frank and Mary, who are my clients, were actually her parents. <laughs> wow. Right. Well, right. 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 it's yeah. out there now. It's right. out there now. <laughs> That's, That's right. right. Oh, they're so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to kill us now for right. doing this. Wait yeah. till my real parents find this. That's a whole other problem. Excellent. Well, so, yeah, so, we, tell me what's caused them to think about this change. You know, they live in Westboro. They've been very happy here for many, many years. Um, but, you know, they're kind of, uh, you know, wanting some changes. There have been a few health issues. Yeah, and they're so, in the early 70s, you know. Yeah, so it's yeah. like they're, they're starting to wonder. You know, they're just a little bit older than me. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so, that, you know, there's nothing major that is a, an issue right now. Right. But, you know. We're so forward thinking. She yeah. worries. Right. Sure. She worries. Right. You right. know, and she and the other siblings worry, yeah. you know, what's going to happen to my parents, you know. Right. So they're like, and you know, they're no help. They're not falling now. No. But the notion of not having to shovel the snow. And do Absolutely. All that stuff, right? right, right. And socially, you know, their, their friends have, have moved around in different places. And I right. kind of feel like. They could really benefit from kind of engaging with their peers in a really active way, Absolutely. and they have different interests too. So, Absolutely. so right. uh, and their neighbors are gone. I mean, they right. they grew up in the you know that's how that's where 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 uh, met, where uh, Shelby was raised. You yeah. know, so it was in sure. this neighborhood. Right. But and now it's the neighborhood's gone. Right. Right. So right. for them to be starting a new life, but they're very intimidated about. This, right, they're right. not excited about this, so we got to be trying to convince them. Exactly. Right. Well, wonderful. We haven't lost anybody yet, so you're in no. good hands. All right, good. excellent. So good. let's go over and talk a little bit more about their lifestyle and how um, how we can fit them into a community like Del Webb. Great, perfect. Great, great. Thank you. Very comfortable. Love it. it Thank is. you. It's a pretty luxurious sales office, isn't it? So, <laughs> it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's rather nice. We, we, we thoroughly have been enjoying it. The, the view speaks for itself. Great. I was going to say Great. that the afternoon walks must be pleasant, right? You can oh, just kind of absolutely. Enjoy the, that lake is just wonderful. It is. But, but I digress. No, that's so. okay. And I have, you know, as a good daughter does, I have some questions here. Absolutely. So, so but uh, however the conversation goes, it goes. Um, sure. So, uh, as I mentioned, my parents are currently living in Westboro, and okay. uh, they're just, I think that they need something else. But as we've talked about, we've got to sort of convince them that Del Webb is the right place. So. Tell us a little bit about the community, if you will, and, and sure. what is it? What's it like to be part of a Del Webb community? Yeah. Absolutely. And, and about what you need to know from our par from our parents, from your parents, right. my client, um, in order to kind of convince them, right? Absolutely. So, had you ever heard of Del Webb before? I, from yes, past experience in out west communities. Yes. Um, yes. Well known. So Del Webb created the active adult way of life mm -hmm. um, in 1960, and his uh, first set of models was wildly successful and. and um, 
and uh, brought in about 100,000 people over a three-day time period, and it made the cover of a Time magazine. It wow. was absolutely incredible. That's and pretty amazing. Isn't oh, that yeah. amazing? Oh, wow, that is amazing. So uh, since then, of course, they've been popular throughout um, a lot a lot of warmer climates, so it's pretty unique to have a Dell Web community here in New England. Mm -hmm. um, this is a, a much more intimate Dell Web community, which I think is going to just be wonderful because it's really going to speak volumes to the type of closeness that you're going to have with your other um, homeowners. Sure. Um, so when you're when you're coming into a Dell Web community, the home is almost secondary. It's Ooh. really about lifestyle. Okay. It's about reinvesting in yourself and um, maybe getting back to some of the things you did um, from a long time ago or starting some new things. Um, overall, it's about growing as a person and mm. doing that with other people that you share similar um, values and uh, interests with. I like that, reinvesting in yourself. Reinvesting right. in yourself. We, we don't do that That's often right. enough. That's great. We don't. That's right. We don't. That's great. And I would assume they're going to know some of the folks here because because yeah. some of these folks are going to be from Westboro. But sure. do you ha do you have any sense based on places uh, other communities that you've built? Typically, what percentage of your population comes from fairly close as opposed to people that come from farther away? Maybe because they want to be close to a child, mm -hmm. or for, mm -hmm. for what other reasons? Just so I would say at least fifty percent of our homeowners right yep. now that are coming into this community are coming from the Westboro or surrounding mm -hmm. Northboro, Southboro great. areas. Great. That's really huge. Right. Yes, really it's huge. great. Yeah. And even yeah. for the other percentage of folks that we have interest in right now, they're coming back to Westboro. They're coming back to nice. their children. They're coming to their grandchildren that are just being born here. Yeah. So it's it's really um, the driving factor is about family and being close to them. Okay. Yes. So um, I know we'll probably talk a lot about kind of like what are the amenities, what what do you offer, but in terms of size, you mentioned this is a smaller, intimate sort of Dell Web community. How many um, condos will ultimately be here? Homes. So we're going to have 700 homes here, okay. 14 buildings. We'll have about 50 homes per building. Okay. With garage parking underneath. Okay. Underneath. Yes. Oh. That's good. That's all no good. No shoveling. No shoveling. That's, exactly. that's the goal of the exercise. Right? No ice. And are these, all ele are these elevated buildings? Yes, they have elevators. So um, uh, inside the building is single level living, which is Excellent. wonderful. Great. It uh, lends itself to a lock and leave situation, which is perfect for a lot of people who do want to remain close to their family, but maybe they want to spend half the uh, year in Florida yeah. or, or a warmer climate lock and, and then come back. Lock and leave. I like that. Good. Yeah. Right. Are we at that point yet? We're not, we're, we're not no, there. No, we're not there. <laughs> <yet. laughs> I'm at that uh, point. <laughs> but, but we're not right now trying to figure out what to do with the rose bushes that we failed to cut back in the fall. And now right. we're like, oh my God, it's coming, you know, right? right? And, right. The, and we're not worried about the grass that's now growing. Right. And exactly. the, is the mower still working? Right. This is like all behind us. Right. That's right. Exactly. That's right. And so, um, so the, the um, living, the homes are one bedroom, two bedroom. Is that sort of the extent of it, or do they have three bedrooms? Tell us a little bit about. So we them. have three, f uh, three floor plans that are two bedroom, two bath. Okay. Um, some of those have additional flex areas that can be utilized as dens or offices, things okay. of that nature. Um, and then we have four one bedroom, one bath. Uh, floor plans. Oh, right. So lots of different kind of layouts for folks to choose from and so on and so forth. Exactly. Right? Excellent. Exactly. Excellent. What, um, so tell us a little bit more. We started talking about the, you know, kind of what my parents might enjoy here and reinvesting in themselves. And so tell us a little bit more about that. Like, do you have, I mean, I'm looking around sort of the office here and, you know, I see some active pictures and all. Um, I know Lake Chauncey is right there. What could they do here in a community? Um, sure. So in a community like this, you um, it's going to be cr uh, created within the special interest and the unique interest of all of our homeowners. Mm. The homeowners are essentially creating what is important to them. Great. So we will have a lifestyle director who will be full-time, mm -hmm. who will be facilitating all sorts of um, social clubs and groups and the creation mm -hmm. of those groups with the homeowners and those interests. And then they'll be creating um, activities both inside the community and outside community for on behalf of the homeowners association. Mm -hmm. So between those three, um, there'll be probably a couple hundred activities a month to be involved wow. in. But the important thing to note is that it's not um, it's not required. Yeah. So a lot of times, especially with our couples, we'll have one that's a little more introverted, mm -hmm. one's more extroverted, and we'll have um, amenities to offer for both of those type of personalities. For sure. So for one that wants to be very social, they may want to go down and uh, 
um, do a card game down mm -hmm. at the amenity center. Maybe the other one wants to just take um, a, a swim in the in the pool mm -hmm. or a they're fitness not class. They're not swimming down at Chauncey Lake. Yeah, yeah, they could, they could if they wanted to, but <laughs> we're gonna. Right. But the city, the town beach is not that far away. No, and, no. and they've done a lot of uh, clearing uh, the, too, yep, so yep, it's that's much great. more accessible. It right? is. Yes, it yes. is, um, and it's absolutely gorgeous property, and we're gonna take advantage of that. We can sure. obviously look out at the lake, which mm -hmm. is fabulous. There's gonna be three outdoor gazebos nice. um, that are going to have things like farmers markets mm -hmm. um, in the summertime, maybe some summer concert series. Um, you know, maybe the theater group, if one is formed, they'll do some performances out there. So that's again, great. it's really going to be shaped how the homeowners, you know, what their what their interests are. So that that's really interesting because I know that as we've talked with them, Arthur, about you know what might be the next step. What they've said um, candidly is they don't want to go into an assisted living. They're not there yet. That's not there. We've talked about right. you know they're they're very healthy. They're right. very sure. active. They never want to go active, to a nursing home, but they don't even right. want to. They just don't feel like that's. That, they're too young for that. Right, they're too they're young for that. that, right? But That's at the right. same time, they sort of recognize and like, oh, I've got a headache. And I'm, I'm a, I love how you mentioned about the lock and leave because yes. they're hesitant to leave their home because they're like, oh, what if something happens? And who's going to plow the driveway? And, you know, I'm the one that's local here, so I would certainly end up doing a lot of that. Sure. So, and, and I know yeah. they're concerned about that. So, so, so I'm curious. So, yeah. so I always wondered what Frank and Mary's interests were. Oh you know, yes, I, I know. I've always talked to them about their estate planning and all this other stuff. Right, right. So, so what do you th what do you think they'd be wanting to see right. here? I so mean, because I know your parents are very different. Yes, right? they are. Very they close, are. but they're very. I mean, they have. And they those, need their space. Yeah, there's no yeah. doubt about and that. And they have that. <laughs> and they have those qualities. They don't want to be together. All they want to be together, but not like all the time. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. So, uh, you know, my dad loves to play cribbage. Great. Um, uh, he's uh, kind of an athlete in and of himself, but um, he's slowed down. So I think that um, certainly um, bocce might be something he'd be interested in. Um, uh, not so much the pool, but um, maybe some walking, that sort of thing. Um, um, and he loves sports, so if there was perhaps a, some pickleball, we'll get him to yeah, try that out. Yeah, Maybe he might yeah. find a love for that. He That's might. been very popular. Yes, yes, exactly. And um, um, and my mom, you know, she's extremely social, um, a little bit creative, so she sort of has dabbled in like scrapbooking. Great. Um, uh, she uh, loves kind of like luncheons, teas, you know. Um, likes to go on day trips and kind of explore new places and, and that sort of thing. And of course they both drive right now and, and all of that. So they do that a fair amount, but sometimes like going out with the ladies is a little different than going out with Frank. Right, right, right. right. absolutely. It's not the same trip. No, it's, it's not, not it's not, trip. but they do, they both love to eat. Um, mm -hmm. That's sort of something I guess yeah. they passed on to me too. <laughs> and uh, and uh, you know, they, they, you know, if they, they like to celebrate different events. So if there was a, um, you know, they've gone to uh, friends' houses for a Cinco de Mayo party or a Fourth exactly. of July barbecue or those kind of things where they can, you know, get together. And, wow, and this is like a whole side of Frank Oh, yeah, and I, know we like have, I, I know. Never knew. I know. Well, that's because we have to pay you by the hour. Well, that's, that's so right. we, we have, to, right. keep it, we have <laughs> to keep it short. <laughs> they send me a memo. Right. Says, right. They don't want to actually talk about it. They don't want to gossip about right. it. Right, exactly. Exactly. So how would you how would you frame that? And based on your own experience, because I, I think you had, you had mentioned you worked at other Del Reb communities before, right? Yes. So you've kind of seen how these have evolved, right? I so have. How, how would how would you deal with these folks? And, and, and oh, I should I just add, yep. ask a question: Is there another one? Because you said this is yeah, really new point. to the to the Northeast. Is there another place that people could actually go see? around here or I, obviously you've got all this stuff on your website right so they could see all that stuff. we do we but do I, we don't just curious. we don't have another Dell web that we're yep. currently offering homes at right now in yep. the New England area mm -hmm. um, or in the Massachusetts area I should say yeah. um, so this is the well, groundbreaking they, it they, is they would love that they like yeah. to be first on they like to be things, first so that's, that's right good. yes that's right. Yeah. and yeah, they can be um, on some of your videos you know right? Frank, sure you know? sure <laughs> they're very good on video <laughs> well we should bring them in yeah. <laughs> they look like cartoon characters sometimes they're so good they're just like they're so entertaining <laughs> right so so how would how would they so if, if we brought them in like what would sorry. that next step be that next step would be to bring them in and we can talk to them about how they need to utilize the home inside the mm -hmm. floor plan and okay. and identify which floor plan is going to suit their needs best sure um, things like you know if if they're both wanting separate spaces mm -hmm. for watching their programs um, oh. or are they wanting to be in the same room but doing two different things while they're in the same same room that, sure. that you know so it really depends on their specific wants of living inside the sure. floor plan 
So uh, I, I actually had a question when you mentioned sure. the, the bedrooms. So um, I understand this is an age restricted community. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about that? Obviously, they're both over 55, mm -hmm. um, uh, maybe not in, in, in mind um, uh, in, in spirit, but sure. they are. Um, so can Shelby visit? Yeah, right. can I can I visit? Can I stay over? Because I'm yeah. not there yet, right. actually. Right. Um, um, can I can you know? Could they have their grandchildren here overnight? They can. Okay. They okay. can. Yes, absolutely. So the the age restriction is in occupying the home. So there needs to be one person who's 55 or better. Okay. Um, uh, and as far as uh, visitors, anyone mm -hmm. 19 or above can stay in the home with them. Um, okay. 19 or younger can visit, but cannot okay. make this their permanent residence. Okay. Okay. As a lawyer, what's the definition of that? What's a visit? Yeah. How how long? can a visit be so if, if you're coming with your kids for example right if they came for like April vacation like could they stay can, for a couple days can they, they can there's yeah. no restrictions on that um, okay. and uh, it is as long as they're not making this their permanent residence okay. Okay. so okay. that's great yeah, yeah. That's great. So there's it's a lot really of flexibility flexibility, flexibility. yes that's there great. is for flexibility yeah. for different types of families that's great excellent um, and and uh, what's you know because money is you know it's important, right? Sure. So what do the units start at and what are the annual fees? Okay, so our um, one bedroom, one bath units will start at $299. Okay. Um, and it's going to depend on what floor you're on. There may be an additional location premium for mm -hmm. looking at this beautiful light. Sure. Um, and then we also have uh, up to two bedroom, two bath that will be uh, in the low fours. Mm -hmm. And uh, so yes, there's there's a there's quite a range. Okay. Okay. Yes. And so uh, just back to the owner um, occupied. So let's say that my parents are like, oh, we're not ready, but I want to make an investment for them in anticipation because I know ultimately this would be a great place for them. Sure. I'm not 55. Could I buy one? Yes. And and could they live here? Yes. Okay. Great. Yes. Oh, right. So, they can be the so it's not yes, the, 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 correct. The the, the, the age restriction is in the uh, is in the occupancy, not in the ownership. Okay. All that's right. all that's, good. that's good to know. So yes. as we talk about estate planning for them, and th yeah. that's helpful to know. Excellent. That's great. Good. That's great. So yeah. So going back, you kind of get a sense of kind of who Frank and Mary are in terms of what they'd be interested in, based on your experience. So how would that evolve? How, what kinds of clubs and stuff would you anticipate them being S interested in? Absolutely. So everything that you described to me. Um, well, first, let's, m let's make a note of a very important factor that you, you've brought up. Frank yeah. and Mary, um, they feel like they're losing something by leaving their home. Mm. A lot. Yeah. They, right? A lot. It's, yeah. it's familiar. It's, it's their, what it's they've their known. House. Yes, yeah. absolutely. There's a lot of memories there. This is a very emotional transition for people. Um, once they get here and they realize how they can bring what they've come from here with them and share it with other people that have similar interests and have that connection with people, mm. it all changes. And then they're they're saying to themselves, why didn't we do? It took us so long to come right. here because now we can go down to the arts and crafts center at the amenity center and do a flower arranging class. We can mm -hmm. we can teach a scrapbooking class. You can share your talents with other people. Mm -hmm. um, while Frank might want to you know do, go and do something off on his own rather mm -hmm. than yeah. doing something social, and there's still opportunities for them to do social things together. There might mm -hmm. be a dinner and dancing mm -hmm. event. There may be um, you know a Kentucky derby viewing party yeah, event sure. and the ladies will come big in their hats. big hats mm -hmm. and they'll sit mint juleps and they'll have a great time and again it's uh it's it's all about celebrating life mm -hmm. and celebrating their special interests so they can bring those interests here with them and yeah. enjoy um and focus on lifestyle and not so much on maintenance great. so that's an interesting point because it yeah. reminds me of when i first heard of del of del web which is mm -hmm. once again it's a long time ago mm -hmm. right um Talk about the amenity center, because mm -hmm. because it, it, it's sounding like that's kind of one of the unique features of this is that you really have space. It isn't kind of just your standard. You know, this is the clubhouse, right? right? Right. But it's space which can really be used for a whole variety of purposes right. exactly. for a lot of people. Because you're right. gonna if 700 right. units, so you say maybe if you got like a thousand people. Right. Around. Exactly. So so how, what is what is that? What is the center? Yeah. What is the sure? So um, you're exactly right. It's not just a clubhouse. I mean, that really doesn't lend itself <laughs> to what it is going to be. It is really the heart of the community. Mm -hmm. So it, our amenity center is going to be an 11,000 plus square foot amenity center. It will have 11,000 um, plus. Mm -hmm. right? And once again, so for folks who aren't big into square footage, pretty, pretty much a standard four bedroom colonial is like 2,000. Correct. Right? So mm -hmm. it's 11,000 plus. Is this all on one floor? Correct. 
that's a big floor. It's yeah. a yes. So multiple rooms probably. Multiple yeah. rooms for um, you know beautiful ballroom and function room, which will um, you know be be able to be sectioned off if you're having smaller functions, that's which beautiful. you'll be able to re reserve spaces. So let's say you want to have a baby shower in the family, or sure. you want to have a special event, a private event, you can reserve that space. Um, but there's also going to be um, opportunity for social events from the amend uh, from the homeowners association there as well. We have an arts and crafts gallery there for, mm -hmm. um, I anticipate a lot of, you know, a large sure. artist community will come here. Yep. Um, there will be a game room to host all sorts of games uh, in there, Mahjong, Mexican Train. Oh, great. Um, My you know, mom loves bridge, dominoes. Dominoes. Loves dominoes, yes, oh, that's absolutely. Great. That's great. We'll have a fitness facility, so yeah. there'll be classes in there with various um, you know, uh, workout equipment great. and uh, yoga Pilates studio. Wonderful. Um, I anticipate things like stretch labs, um, mm. which have been, become very, very popular. Yeah. Um, the other great thing is, um, They'll have groups that will take the ballroom and they'll set them up like uh, like the cruise group, for instance, might set the ballroom up um, as a travel show, and they'll bring in vendors, oh, and the vendors great. will that's or yeah. you know will offer right. you know specialty discounts for large um, mm -hmm. groups to take a cruise together. Oh, that's and I suppose that's an advantage, right, of having a community that's seven that's a thousand people. Yeah, exactly. Right. Is that right. it, it becomes attractive. To speakers doing estate planning, that's presenting. right. right. To, you know, to, to folks doing to, right. to a whole bunch of people, right? right? Exactly. Because you get scale. Yes, right. there might be right. keynote speakers. Maybe you can come and do a keynote speak on you or, know. Or we can do we we sing and dance. Actually, we have a routine that we that's do. That's even better. Yeah, it's a Frank and Mary variety show. show. <laughs> but that's, that's, that's that's a very that's, expensive. That's very expensive. Yes, yes. Right, right. we'll have to see if we can work it into the budget. <laughs> <laughs> Not the first year. I do have. I do just. I think want to make an observation. To what I love about this, as as you're talking, is that, you know, um, their lives have always been beyond this area, this physical right. area, and so, you know, by being here, it doesn't mean they leave Westboro behind. So right. they still have the public library that they love. They still could go to the senior center. My dad sometimes goes there for a veterans luncheon. Sure. Right. Um, they there are still restaurants in the area that they like to go to, they and know. they they're still they, going to Arturo's. They're, they're still, still right. They yeah. still they like to walk on the track yeah. over at the high school sometimes. Yes. You know, to see some yes. of the sports going on, what have yeah. you. So, so what I like about this is it's still very much in a community that they're familiar with, and it's not like they're here and isolated. It's exactly. just an extension of what Westboro already is. Exactly. It's still the familiarity of the area and everything they love right. about the area, right. but now they're doing it with a whole bunch of friends that they didn't even know sure. they would have the op opportunity to enjoy. Right. Right. And, um, and, and having that low level of maintenance living, that single level living, it's just forward thinking. Mm -hmm. Um, which and, is and wonderful. And I would suppose, once again, for your dad that likes sports, you know, the, mm -hmm. the advantage of this, you know, if you wanted to get a group guys, a guys together to go into a game, right, right, in right. town, now there's a big enough Right. Let's get group. a van and go to the Red Sox. Yes. A van isn't a big Who wants deal? to park downtown? Right. You yeah, charter exactly. a bus, we go downtown. Right. Maybe exactly. there's an explorer. That's, that's and right. It's, and it's easy yes. to figure out. Yeah. Right? And then you can drive. Yeah. You don't have to worry about a designated driver. You know, you get, yeah. once again. Well, you know, I, Mary gets all I, concerned about all that. Concerned all concerned about that. You know, and I used to be, I used to pretend that it wasn't a problem, you know, yeah. that I could well, But, you know, I'm getting old. I don't want to be the designated. No. Nobody ever wanted to be the designated driver. So now nobody is the designated. Exactly. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that'd be a lot of and fun. I love the quote on, on the wall over there. We, we only wish we had done this sooner. I, I bet that is... It's a common comment yeah, from yeah, people. Absolutely. Yeah. They adore living here. They really, really do. And, and this is a way to still con keep them connected to their roots, but also have that resort style living that's mm -hmm. all about them. So uh, let me yeah, ask ahead, one, yeah, one of the devil's advocate questions sure. here. Because of course, I'd really, I may be, they may be really looking forward to being in this site, but they don't really want to be in a construction site. So, right. Can you talk about how the build out on this is going to work? You know, yeah, great you're, question. Because you've got a lot of buildings, at, you know, so how, if, if I'm the, in the first building in, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. how long am I listening to construction equipment for the, all the rest of the buildings that are going to get built? Right. Can you just kind of talk about that? Sure, sure, absolutely. Well, you know, at the first building, which is right here when you pulled up um, yeah. outside, that's going to be done um, this December. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the, the construction really is happening in the back part of the property right now. So right now there are some buildings that are being removed and there is some additional noise that you're not going to hear after those buildings are down. Because once again, for once again, for people who haven't been following it really closely, mm -hmm. 
all the existing older buildings are going. That is correct. Right? So every, and, they, every, and they were the state hospitals. So right, folks just are the older again, buildings, yes. Where are we that we're on the grounds of the former state hospital exactly. and, and all those old brick buildings have been. Are yes, all, we're, all we're all revitalizing the area and that's yeah. really the exciting part about right. it. Right. right, absolutely. So first building open in December and what are you, how long are you thinking it will be, it will be, are you building this all in one phase? Or so all no, they'll be done in multiple phases. Yeah. Um, so we'll have essentially three residential buildings and the clubhouse finished by the end of 2020. Okay. okay. Yes. That's great. And okay. so, great. and exactly. then as those are filled, I would imagine then kind of additional building takes place. Right, exactly. Yeah. And then it will continue moving away from these first areas. Sure. So yeah. it'll sure. be, yeah. it'll continue to be minimal as it, sure. minimizing as it goes sure. along. So if you want the really great views, you need to buy in soon. Yes, right? that is these, no, that no built, joke. Because the ones that are first are the ones that are, that are kind right. of facing, like, are very close to Yes, the right. yes. Right. Which is like well, and I also, you know, we're hearing some construction work, you know, but there's a lot of still, well, you know, they're still taking buildings down. Well, right. The majority yeah. of that noise that you would hear right now would be due to taking taking the buildings yeah. down, exactly, not right. necessarily not to putting them up. Construction. Right, right, correct. Exactly. You know, and Frank, actually, you know, he's got an uh, engineering building background. So you remember and Actually, that. he might enjoy watching no, those right? buildings No, right? I mean, I down. actually think that, you know, people are going to be like, ooh, oh, you know, this is get, like this really is cool. what else is that's going right, on, right? That's right. <laughs> all the Marys, like, rolling their eyes. Like, right, yeah, yeah. Break, okay, all know? the guys will be out there in their lawn just yeah. watching the Yeah, with their old hard ends. Right, right. With their old hard exactly. Just hang around. This is great. Do you have any more questions for Melanie? I know, she, you know, uh, Well, I, you know, I think you've covered really a lot of stuff. Can you just talk a little bit more about the arts and crafts? You called it a gallery. Yeah, like a, a, a room to come and, and, and it's going to be, again, whatever yeah. the homeowners want to make of it. So if, if, if jewelry making is of interest, knitting, um, painting, photography, I mean, this, this area is absolutely gorgeous. And I just have imagined people mm. taking a photography class, maybe going for a walk around Chauncey mm -hmm. and right. photographing birds. I've had a buyer that wants to do a plein air class, which is painting outside, which oh, okay. is just okay. absolutely perfect for that. That's great. Um, and, and do you envision that most of the activities will be sort of, I know the, the residents here will generate, the homeowners will generate sort of like, let's do this or what have you, but mm -hmm. will you bring in sort of experts in that area? Yes, okay, okay. exactly. So it's not necessarily, you know, um, Frank saying, oh, let me show you how to, well, cribbage is probably a bad example, but photography, <laughs> exactly. You know, right. like, it's, I mean, you might have those kind of groups, but you might also bring in a speaker to talk about photographing uh, absolutely. nature or something. Yes, okay, absolutely. Okay. And that will be the determination of each club and group that's created, and, um, and, the, so, uh, and the lifestyle director can help them with those okay. things. Great. So... She's answered all my questions. Yeah, she's answered I think, yeah, mine. Yeah, I think they've got a, sh they, you know, we've got a shot at them. I, I we've got so. a shot at them. So have you been seeing many people, you know, locally already? I think you had mentioned. We have. It's been very exciting. Again, this is yeah. a really unique uh, location for a Dell Web community, yeah. and everyone is very excited about it. So yes, we've had a lot of activity I, so far. I see some dots <laughs> on the board already, Arthur. Yeah, some of my some of my views have already been taken. Yeah, so yes. but there's so. still time. But there's, there's still time. <laughs> there's still time. <laughs> All right, that's terrific. This is so great. This no, is, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to this meet is you. Great. No, a real pleasure. You're gonna love Frank and Mary. They're I know very, it. They're, they're just great. Yeah. They're very yeah. funny and they're very active. And I think this is the kind of place where they can. What was the term? Where they can re. They can reinvest in themselves. Because they can reinvest right. in themselves. Right. That's right. That's really good. And so for our viewers at home, we're going to actually have some information on the bottom of the screen that will have uh, the Dell Web information and how you contact Melanie. And and uh, we hope you check it out. you got to check it out. I mean, it's just an, it's an amazing location, first of all, right? And, 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 and Dell Web is. And they're really kind of internationally famous. They invented this style of, of, of development, right? Yeah. And yes. And you get to be the first ones, right? That's so you right. get to be on their Facebook page and stuff for everybody else that, have, that, that they do this with later on. So come and visit Melanie. She's here. What are your hours? We're here every day from 10 to 5. There you go. So and, and take a field trip. Take a field trip. And thanks again to um, my wonderful co-host, Shelby Marshall. And thanks for watching. We'll look forward to, you, to seeing you on the next installment of Frank and Mary. And maybe if Shelby keeps pushing it, we'll be back on the road. That's right. See you. Thanks very much. Bye. Bye.